Hi, welcome to the GoForecast web model. Here we should use GoForecast to project an application based business. This model is currently tracking performance of multiple versions of an online application, which can be downloaded by users across multiple platforms. Having projected the number of application downloads, using churn calculations, inactive users fall away, leaving a pot of active users that could subscribe to use the application, or pay for some other chargeable activity within the application. These chargeable activities, together with download fees and advertising fees, drive our turnover assumptions and corresponding direct costs. Jumping now to the tailored inputs, our turnover assumptions are broken down into three subsections. The first subsection allows us to estimate how many times our current application will be downloaded across the projected period, plus also how those downloads can be enhanced by the launch of new application versions. Downloads are also further enhanced by launching our application on additional platforms, therefore increasing our routes to market. We then jump to the next subsection to estimate what type of user has downloaded the application. Different types of users allow us to forecast different turnover assumptions for different user behaviour, plus also those users who are more active on the service are therefore more likely to keep using the product for longer, and so they churn away less often. In the third subsection, the user can then calculate their projected income based on a range of calculation methods linked to the application's performance. For example, here we are estimating different download fees for each platform on which we distribute our application, plus some other income assumptions based on the different activity levels of the different types of active user. Much like those calculation methods used to forecast turnover, the model's direct costs can also perform in line with our web application whether that be the platform's share of the income that we generate, or perhaps a variable number of staff that are required to support our active user base. And like all other versions of GoForecast, having completed our industry-specific assumptions, the model then incorporates typical input structures for each of overheads, capital expenditure, bank and investor funding. And so we have now projected our profit and loss account based on the activity that is driving our business. Whilst this video is centred on a web application, this variant of GoForecast can track a range of online activities. For example, application downloads could be converted to become website visits. And active users could instead be classed as different visitor types, with the visitors buying X products per month, say. As always, model support are on hand to tailor GoForecast just as you need it. Or if the web application model suits your requirements right now, please click the Buy button for instant access to the software. Thanks for watching.